efficiency in antibiotic distribution could multiply the toll by as much as seven times. Keep in mind that most U.S. communities... Did you find the part about the variola incubation period stimulating enough? Riveting. I didn't understand half of it, but it was sexy. Look, if somebody asks a less than enlightened question, try not to be condescending. Condescending. Yeah, but you're gonna have to accept the fact that not everyone is as smart as you. Asking somebody to clarify their thoughts is not condescending. Kind of is the way you do it. Just throw in some of your natural charm and everything will be fine. No, well, luckily I have an abundance of that. That's your cue. Knock them dead, boss. So as you can see, the recent SARS outbreak caught us surprisingly off guard. We weren't ready for how fast airliners would carry it across the world. We were lucky that SARS didn't turn out to be as virulent as loss of fever or Marburg. But the lesson is that in our modern world, the time between the small spark of a disease and our barn burning down is very short. Thank you. I'll take some questions now. Sir? How do you propose to prevent sick people from flying? Well, first of all, Homeland Security needs to get off their ass and set up a national do not board list. With incubation times far exceeding travel times, wouldn't we have to track passengers on arrival too? Absolutely. We'll need to expand our quarantine facilities to cover all major ports of entry into the states, and we'll need more quick response teams like Canary. But it'll still be a crapshoot because you won't have any true control over whether infected passengers will travel. Do you have any better suggestions? Yes. Focus on vaccine development. Oh, you mean engage in an entirely different crapshoot? Because you'll just be guessing which strain to defend against. And any successful mass immunization effort will just trigger a huge political fight, like it did with swine flu in 76. And yet that program prevented at least one million cases in the U.S. alone. I can see we disagree on tactics, but I'm sure we can all agree that if we just sit back and rely on sheer luck to protect us, we'll be courting disaster. And on that happy note, uh, let's go to lunch.